transitioning from the Vimero 14s into the PEG 35 turbos. Woo! Going from heavy to light. Let's hope, let's hope. Got the pay, peg 35 turbos on for this next time trial. By the way, I, I love, why do I do time trials? As I get older, it's a little bit of an incentive to try and PR in my older age. I'm putting that in air quotes. Basically, it's, like, it's fun. It's fun to push yourself. It's a little different than a workout anyway. I've done a lot of time trials in the last six weeks. If you wanna go check them out, a playlist. I created a brand new playlist for this channel. All it is is time trial. So go check it out, upper right hand corner. I think you'll enjoy it. 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, one mile uh, time trials. Anyway, it's fun. All right, I'm here at the Cherry Creek uh, bike path and it's just a concrete bike path. I want to test the, pre the PEG 35 turbos out today on concrete because I think this could actually be a good shoe for you guys to consider for racing, all right? So, sorry if it's a little loud, there's cars going on behind me here, and uh, let's do this, come on. I think, I think it was 10-10, not too shabby. Ooh, 10, oh man, ow, ow, oh, turbos baby. That's right, the PEG 35 Turbo, not too shabby, not too shabby. This is the bonus video for the day. Second video being published today. The first one published at 5 a.m. all about my warm-up routine. Go check it out, upper right hand corner. And I did that warm-up video just before running today's two mile time trial in the PEG 35 Turbo shoe. This is by far the fastest I've ever run in the, in the Turbo shoe. Last week at the 5K Turkey Trot in Greeley, Colorado, in this Vaporfly 4%, I felt uncomfortable for some reason. I didn't feel as though my stride was getting the full benefit out of the carbon fiber plate inside this shoe. That is why, it, I won't go into detail on that, but that is why I chose to do today's two mile time trial in the turbo. And just to see how it would feel at the 508 per mile, no sorry, 505 per mile pace, which is what is the pace I ran today. And they crushed it, they crushed it. I think, I honestly, uh, truly, I don't think you need to go out and buy this shoe unless you're really, really trying to PR in a half marathon or marathon distance. Now, can you wear this in a 5K and a 10K? Absolutely, absolutely. But I don't think it's, it's more designed for the half and full marathon. Whereas this shoe is so lightweight, the turbo, and the ride, the ride underfoot, um, I never felt uncomfortable in my stride today at two miles, at 5.05 per mile. Like I felt like I could maintain a pretty quick turnover in this shoe. So I would recommend, if you love Nike, 
I would recommend this turbo as a as an alternative to the Vaporfly 4%. I think you could use this in 5K and 10K races. Now, are there other lighter weight Nike shoes out there? Of course. But if you want to protect your feet a little bit, if you want to have a little more support and cushion, this shoe is your winner winner chicken dinner for the 5k and 10k distance i felt fast i felt fast now was i breaking five minute pace not quite just a reminder the peg 35 turbo the midsole is zoom x foam as opposed to eva foam which eva foam these days is, is very pretty popular and standard across different shoe companies but this zoom x foam it, it returns energy much, much better than EVA foam. Um, it compresses, but it return it like it springs you forward just a little bit, uh, just a teeny tiny bit, not too much. But I, I can feel it when I'm when I'm pushing off. I felt it today in the two mile, especially when I was really trying to dig at the last half mile when my lungs were starting to burn. Like I was like, okay, I still feel like a little bit of bounce here in my step, not too much, but a little bit of bounce here in my step. And on the upper. It first of all contributes to the 8.1 ounces for this shoe, which is pretty lightweight for an all around trainer that I think could also be used for racing if you wanted to. It's a translucent uh, mesh upper here, which again contributes to that lightweight. And I think you can lock your foot down pretty nicely. I did not feel as though I was slipping around at all at 505 a mile pace. Like I felt like my foot was secure. And I think that's in part because of this fly wire system up here for the lacing that just kind of cinches down over your the top of your foot nicely. It just, it's just a nice cinching system that Nike has developed here. Real briefly, on the outsole, no issues. In fact, I was running just a teeny tiny bit on some ice today, just like for 10, 10 feet, and I didn't feel like I was about to fall or anything. And the brake, I have almost put 100 miles into these turbos, and the outsole looks pretty darn good. It looks pretty good, so no... No comment, no comment on the outsole. In conclusion, the PEG 35 Turbo did really well at a faster pace. It was lightweight, I, it did not feel clunky. You know how shoes can feel clunky. It didn't feel heavy. Uh, it didn't feel like I was losing a lot of energy on the push off. And so I would wear this shoe in a 5K or 10K race that, or even a half marathon where I wasn't necessarily going for a PR or to win win my age division or whatever it is. I was just going out to have a good solid race and I still want to protect my feet and protect my overall health of my body in order to get ready for the next race. And the next race, your peak race, where I would definitely wear a shoe that was uh, even lighter than this shoe. But I, I like it, I like it. I think it's a good option if you're looking for an everyday trainer that you could also use for racing and frankly kind of serious racing not not your peak peak racing but pretty serious racing that's my thought on the peg 35 turbo and there you go folks the peg 35 turbo not too shabby at the two mile distance and that is the keyword for this video the number two comment down below i'd appreciate it and the question of the day what is your go-to racing shoe or racing flat whatever you want to call it for a 5k or 10k on the roads okay like what do you grab for for the 5k or 10k road racing distance comment below i'd appreciate it and again chime into everybody else's comments i've been oh my goodness there are so many great shoes out there that i want to try keep the ideas coming and i'll do my best oh man like sketchers keeps coming up um what else keeps coming up adidas is coming up a little bit the boston and uh, anyway comment below let me know what your shoe is of choice your shoe of choice is for the 5k and 10k distance on the roads that's it. That's it. That's no more videos today. That's just two videos. Just two videos. Love ya.